oil carrier ships used to transport the crude oil in oceans from place to place, you may wonder how the weight of crude oil calculated. First we need to understand the concept of density. This episode is about the density and its application in engineering. First, we need to understand what is density. Mass to unit volume of a substance usually known as a density, the higher value represent a heavier material compared to another material with lower density in the same volume. Second, we need to learn about specific gravity. Relative density, or specific gravity, is the ratio of the density, mass of a unit volume, of a substance to the density of a given reference material. For liquids, usually density of distilled water used as a reference material. Specific gravity can be determined theoretically by dividing the density of the material to the density of reference material. Usually for liquids, density of water used as a reference material at 4 Celsius degree which is equivalent to 1000 kg per cubic meter. Practically, specific gravity can be measured by hydrometer. Now what is hydrometer? Hydrometer is a measurement device used to measure the specific gravity of liquids based on the principle of buoyancy. A hydrometer usually consists of a sealed hollow glass tube with a wider bottom portion for buoyancy. A ballast at the bottom such as lead or mercury for stability. A narrow stem at top with graduations for measuring. In this experiment, four different liquids are used such as a cooking oil, kerosene, crude oil, and water. The specific gravity of water is nearly equal to 1, and the density of water become 1 gram per cubic centimeter, and it's equivalent to 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. The specific gravity of cooking oil is about 0.928, which is equivalent to 928 kilograms per cubic meter. The specific gravity of crude oil is about 0.825, which is equivalent to 825 kilograms per cubic meter. The specific gravity of kerosene is about 0.795, which is equivalent to 795 kilograms per cubic meter. Usually heavy liquids falls below the lighter liquids. In this experiment, the density of water higher than the density of cooking oil. That is why the water falls below the cooking oil. The density of kerosene is lower than the density of water and the cooking oil. By adding a little kerosene to the mixture, the kerosene is flowed over the surface because the density is lower than the other liquids. If some water adding to the mixture, the water falls below the cooking oil and the kerosene because of its higher density compared to them. Another trail conducted between cooking oil and the crude oil, according to the previous readings, the specific gravity of crude oil is lower than the specific gravity of cooking oil. Based on this, the crude oil flowed over the surface of the cooking oil. In conclusion, the low-density liquids usually flowed over the high-density liquids. The application of density and specific gravity in engineering is to estimate the mass of liquids in tanks and reservoirs. The most stunning example is the oil carrier ships. Based on the oil density, the mass of oil can be accurately calculated. The mass of oil is a very important data to determine the load is not more than the ship capacity before starting the traveling. The mass of the liquid in any containers can be calculated by multiplying the density of liquid by the volume of the container. The volume of circular tank can be determined by multiplying the cross-section area by the total height of the tank. <music>